Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Rankin, Corporate Caesars Palace, Budweiser, the undefeated King of Beers, and ESPN2 are proud to present a special attraction of the evening scheduled for four rounds of boxing for the IBA Super Heavyweight Championship. This bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Dr. Elias Ghanem. Introducing your referee for this four-round super heavyweight battle is Joe Cortez. Introducing first, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 231 pounds, and tonight he wears the multicolored trunks. He comes to us from Campbell River, British Columbia, Canada. His professional record of 14 wins, six defeats, 13 of his wins by knockout. Introducing the challenger, Troy Roberts. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 323 pounds. Tonight, he's wearing the red, white, blue, and green trunks from Jasper, Alabama. Yeah. His professional record and outstanding 39 wins, one defeat, one draw, 29 wins by knockout. Known as the king of the four rounders, introducing the IBA Super Heavyweight Champion of the World, Butterbean. Roberts in a scheduled four-round IBA Super Heavyweight bout. You heard Jake Gutierrez mention that Roberts has 14 wins. We have him at eight and six with seven knockouts. He has six non-sanctioned bouts on his resume. Eric Esch, known around the country as Butterbean. And it is amazing. A few years ago, he was building mobile homes in Alabama. Now he's a very popular figure in boxing. He really is. And you know, whatever you want to say about his abilities and the people he fights, the bottom line is Butterbean is a delightful guy. I've had a chance to spend a lot of time around him at various charity events. And uh, he's just a delightful man. Boy, if there is ever a 180 degrees in body shape, <laughs> look at Troy Roberts yeah. and look at Butterbean. You are right. Roberts feels the way to beat Butterbean, and it is the way, is if you can jab and give him some movement. Roberts, though, this is amazing, says he has not sparred in six months. No, he has been uh, knocked out of five of his last six fights, says Roberts. He has one round of boxing in his last 15 months. That was a January 16th knockout at the hands of the late Cody Koch on our show from Boise, Idaho. In fact, on that card, Butterbean picked up a four-round win against Harry Funmaker. And now both you and I thought that Funmaker might have won that fight. Yeah, I thought he might have won by a point or two. We've had a couple of fights where, uh, where Bean got the decision. We weren't quite sure about it. Butterbean has 13 first-round knockouts. Coming off a first-round knockout on August the 26th in Pennsylvania against Tim Pollard. People say, where did the name Butterbean come from? Well, he was trying to get involved in tough man competitions, but he weighed 400 pounds, so he had to lose weight. So he went on a diet of butter beans, and he lost the weight. He ended up, I think he, he in the major uh, tough man contest, came in twice second, but was such a hit with the fans that, uh, you know, it was almost like he won. Now, Roberts is having a pretty good first round here. Of course, sometimes this happens against Butterbean, and then his power ends up uh, taking over. But for now, Roberts is having himself a very good first round. Now, you can hit Bean with jabs all night if you can throw him. But uh, eventually, he usually catches up with these guys. And of course, as in the case of Roberts, he's fighting guys at the lower echelon of the heavyweight division. Robert says that he came here to win this fight, not lose it. He was very emphatic about that when he spoke to us beforehand. And so far in this first round, he is showing it. He's jabbing, throwing straight right hands, and Butterbean's had a hard time getting that overhand right in and getting inside where he can land some punches. Roberts has been in against better competition. He's been in against Vitaly Klitschko, knocked out in the second round. Uh, Joe Hip, Joe Hip, Hip. Hip. Uh, the late Cody Coke, he got knocked out by. And of course, there was a time he was uh, in early in his career when uh, he performed better. So Roberts had his moments early on in his career. Final seconds of round number one. ESPN 2's Friday Night Fights. Oh, 
time. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. Bob Papa along with Al Bernstein on ESPN 2's Friday Night Fights. Corey Spinks, the unanimous decision in the ring now. Butterbean against Troy Roberts. Butterbean defending his IBA super heavyweight title, the king of the four rounders. And there are the numbers from round one, Al. Uh, good round for Roberts, as we said. A pretty big edge outlanding Butterbean by eight. So in my mind, I had him at ten to nine. Nice right hand by Bean. That's the punch he's trying to get in. And that one, I think, momentarily might have rocked Roberts. That one rocked him, too. Kind of pushed him back, at least. Roberts rips off a ride of his own. Troy Roberts is from Campbell River in British Columbia, about two hours north of Vancouver Island. He's a commercial fisherman. He's been doing that for the last 15 years. He fishes for sockeye and herring. And he's also a native carver, so he likes to work with his hands, and he'd like to carve up a little butter bean here tonight. He had to stop fishing because the sockeye and the herring were becoming extinct, and they had to stop fishing for a year to allow that species to regenerate itself. Now, there's Roberts. Just a little movement and a jab is what he felt you need against Butterbean, and that is true. You can't jab and stand in one spot because he might get that overhand right in. There's the right. That's, that's Butterbean's big weapon. And against these kinds of heavyweights, it has gotten the job done. Oh, that was a lot of yeah, he got the hook in, so Butterbean's making a liar out of him. He's landing some good hooks. Now Roberts is in trouble because he's against in the corner there. He's got to get out of there, and he did that. Butterbean having a better second round for himself. Well, Butterbean, by his own admission, will tell you he's not a boxer. <laughs> Comes in to put on a show and brawl. And let's face it, he's a cottage industry. He really is. He's had untold amount of appearances on the Leno show. He is. I've been with him, as I say, charity events, and he is just charming to the people, beloved, and uh, they enjoy being around him. Yeah, one of the versions of Trivial Pursuit, he's actually the answer to a question. Really? Interesting. What's coming over the head? Now, Roberts has done a little better in the second part of this round. I don't know if it's enough to get the round, but, uh, but he has improved a bit. Roberts giving away nearly 100, we're nearly 100 pounds. Butterbean at a cool 323. <laughs> it's a big man. Final seconds of round two, of course. If Butterbean's in the ring, you know it's a four-rounder. Back to Las Vegas after this timeout on ESPN 2's Friday Night Fights. Double-double oh, boom shot right now. This is what Butterbean wants to do and what he did a little bit in the last. There's a right hand that kind of grazed the chin and still kind of knocked Roberts off balance. And there's one that's a little better. Yeah, it's Roberts in trouble. been the script for many a Butterbean fight where the other guy has done pretty well for a round or two with some jabs and some movement and then you know he gets to him with those clubbing right hands and left hooks. Hey, you know even it's kind of ironic he drinks water out of a chocolate syrup bottle. It's kind of ironic because uh, you know the right hand was there as Butterbean puts on that IBA super heavyweight belt but even the clubbing forearm was something that hurt Roberts. Yeah, he, we, even just hitting him with that is going to get the guy in trouble. We'll take a look at it, and we'll see the knockdown and then the end of this bout. Bean with a uh, overhand right, and he landed a couple of really good ones there. And that one on the, just on the ear where your equilibrium gets affected. Very one-dimensional attack, but it got the job done. He landed 14 of 20 punches, 11 of 16 power shots in this round. There's the forearm you talked about. That's going to hurt. 
And this is when Roberts was in huge trouble and ultimately was sent to the canvas. Yeah, Joe Cortez stepped in and stopped it in round number three. For the official time of the stoppage, as we take one more look at Butterbean, again, closing it out. Roberts was hurt against the ropes. Joe Cortez steps in right here and stops it. Uh, let's end it up for the official time of the stoppage to Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joe Cortez steps in and stops this bout at 41 seconds of the third round. The winner by TKO and still IBA Super Heavyweight Champion of the World, Butterbean. So Butterbean picks up his 39th win, his 30th stoppage, and he keeps his IBA Super Heavyweight belt as he stops Troy Roberts in round number three here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Butterbean is standing by with Al. Al, take it away. I am here with Butterbean, and uh, our biggest problem here was getting his right glove off. But the right glove worked just fine when you were hitting Roberts with it. You, uh, as usual, this was actually the script of most of your fights. You got hit with some jabs early, but then you ultimately got the overhand right in. Oh, yeah. I was, just, I was having fun with this guy. I didn't want to get it over too quick. <laughs> but, I mean, I want to get it over quick enough so I go watch a main event tomorrow, you know, tonight. This is this going to be a great fight in a little bit. I guess, and you created uh, some excitement here. You were able to get him, I think in the second round, you kind of started warming up a little bit, you closed the distance. Um, what was the difference after that first round? Well, I was getting, I was, like I said, I was getting warmed up. I was getting more into it, and the punches, I wasn't getting tired a bit, so I said, well, I'm just going to step it up a little bit more and just take him out. Now, this is your second fight back since the injury. Um, is everything healed up all right for you? It's 100 percent. I mean, it's, it's doing wonderful. You know, you're, you're called the king of the four-rounders, and, of course, you fight four-round fights. And uh, the, the question I guess people are asking is, where do you take it from here? What do you do with this uh, in terms of continuing your career? Well, you know, everybody right now can see Butterbean and Holyfield's fighting because they're advertising Holyfield and Bean. Why not a Tyson <laughs> Bean in four rounds? Come on, Al. I'm telling you, people would buy it. They want to see it. All right, you know, a lot of people are confusing you with Fawn Bean. I don't know if that's totally accurate, but here it is. Here's where you got the knockdown. Explain it. You could be a commentator. Tell you us what's going on. you got to hit them. That's all it is. You just keep throwing the rights. I seen him wobble, and that was it. Once I see him, they get hurt. That's it. He's, he's done at this point. My motivation is going to, if I got a belly bump him, I'll get him down one way or another. You actually did hit him with kind of a forearm there. Now, by accident, I think, but it, it, it's got to hurt. In fact, there it is. Yeah. It was by accident. Now, please tell me it was by accident. It was. Okay, because we don't want to ruin your image. I was wondering image. why it was hurting. <laughs> <laughs> so he hurt your arm with that Exactly. One. All right, and this was where uh, now the, little the referee... ball guy's in the way. I don't understand that. <laughs> well, the little ball guy was, I think, trying to save their opponent there. So that was good. You know, you go around, and I mentioned you and I have been in many uh, charity events and different functions uh, across the nation in boxing. And I have to say, you're a really good spokesman and a good ambassador for the sport. Do you enjoy doing those events? I tell you, that's the, that, that's the best part about the boxing that, that I've got out of it, that helping other people is, man, I got, I got kids, and... A lot of the charities we do are for kids, and I, I get the biggest out of that. Does it still surprise you sometimes, because being around you and being at those events, the reaction you get is, is really pretty strong. Does it surprise you still? Yeah, four years ago I was working in the mobile home factory, so it still surprises me. And, you know, I had all the guys still there. They support me, and, I, you know, I'm having a blast. Well, you're having fun. You provided us with a little fun this evening. Congratulations on another win, Bean. Hey, thanks. Hey, everybody listen to me. This is the most important part. This is just a taste of what you're going to get, so buy the pay-per-view. Right. Boy, is he a salesman, I'll tell you. Let's go back to Bob. You get the percentage. Let's go back to Bob. 